Today I'm gonna show you how to use Pidroom Fast Charger portable version. We have a touch screen on top of the, the charger from where you can set up most of the parameters directly. By long pressing that button, you can set the voltage you want. For example, let's see, we set it 151.2 volt. We click save the voltage set successfully and the charging current here. Let's see, we want to set it at 8. Uh, please note that for this charger, uh, it is not allowed to set under 5 amps. You may take a risk to damage the charger by setting the charging current lower than 5 amps. So please keep a note here and let's go continue click save to set up all the voltage and the charging current here you can see in that section just underneath oh, you, you will find out the capacity that has been charged into the battery within that cycle and uh, by sliding down from the top there is another page. Auto stop means the charger will disconnect itself automatically once the voltage is reached to the desired value. The out SW button means you can turn on or turn off the charger manually. So those two features, you can, uh, both of them can be enabled or disabled by short pressing the that one pressing it and uh, you can adjust the brightness of the screen by by sliding that slider that basically all uh, we can set on that uh, screen so since we have already set the desired parameters let's uh, start charging can go slide it down and uh, press it, it uh, start charging. You will find out the real time voltage and uh, temperature inside the charger. Actually, we have an application so that you can connect the charger via, via Bluetooth. By long pressing that P icon, you will find out there is uh, a QR code just uh, scan it, you will find out the instructions of how to install the app. I will show you how to use the app next. Firstly, I'd like to show you how to use the applications from iOS. You need Alipay to connect the Bluetooth of the charger. Press that. There is a link down below. You can copy paste it here and click search. Click that button to go to that page. Click the translate it into English and the plus button search. Here is the Bluetooth will pop up. Connect it and on this page you will find out all sorts of uh, information of uh, uh, the charger and of course you can set the charging voltage and the charging current in those boxes and also you can turn on or turn off the output by uh, short pressing that button here there is more to set up but for uh, most cases we don't need to change it. Uh, I like to mention that for that one, the power limit for Asia, most Asia and European countries because we have uh, 220 AC voltage uh, power outlet. So we can set the power limit to 2000 watt, it should be okay.
but for North American writers, because they have uh, 110 uh, AC voltage power outlet, so uh, unfortunately the power limit will be a thousand watt. So that's the thing you may want to know. Otherwise, there might be uh, a risk to damage the charger. And uh, yes, actually, the i the Android version uh, app it's uh, a little bit easier than that. By click that uh, star button, you can save the mini app. And then next time when you uh, access to this page, you don't need to paste the link anymore. You can find out the app from my apps, click it and you will find out the app here and uh, you can go to that page directly. Actually, for the Android, uh, the app is much easier to use. Uh, you will need to install a uh, called HW Smart Charger, uh, which you will find out the link down below. Uh, once you access to the app, the interface is pretty much the same with that one. So I will leave it to you guys to explore Thank you for watching.